Good afternoon, uh, family and friends. This is Mike Snead coming back to you with uh, Save, Invest, Repeat. I'm out here in Gaston, North Carolina at my uh, friend's house. Uh, it's a trailer that he just uh, finished setting up and rehabbing that he's going to rent out. Uh, I talked to you earlier. I was going to come help him set his AC up where we just finished. Got the AC uh, charging and everything's going well. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick shot of what we've done with the AC unit. And uh, maybe, uh, you, you okay if I walk him in and show him your inside? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to walk in, show him the inside of his, his place and what he's planning to do. Uh, he might get on camera. I don't know. He said he might jump in at the end. But this is one of my friends. Uh, we went to college together, been best friends ever since. And he's actually uh, uh, starting to get into real estate too. And he, he's doing a lot of good things. So I'm going to switch the camera around, show you exactly what we've done. Okay, what we've done, uh, he purchased this... Uh, this trailer right here he purchased it um, and when he purchased it he got the uh, uh, they, 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 they cut the old AC unit out and they package everything up and what I've done I came out here today and actually set it up for him so what we done we took this old condensing unit that he had and we ran new copper lines attached to the old ones that was up under the house as you can see right here and uh, and we got it going, working, and it's actually uh, cooling off right now. So I'm gonna uh, go inside and let me take a look. But what he done, uh, my friend here, he actually didn't uh, he didn't buy an actual house. He done it a little different, which uh, which is pretty good. I'm looking at what he got. It's going pretty good. He uh, actually bought uh, he bought property, and he actually came out and set out a trailer on his property. And uh, that way, he, he kind of got like a package deal. Got the AC unit and everything. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here and take a look. Is it okay to go inside? Yeah. All right. So what he done, uh, he bought this lot and he bought the lot there. You're going to, you, you plan to put duplexes there, right? You're going to put, du, you're gonna put duplexes over there. I'm put duplex over there. It's going to be a one bedroom and a two bedroom. Okay. So he got duplexes going there. But uh, he just got this one set in. How long? How long you been working on this? Uh, since January. Since January. So now he's up and going. I'm gonna back up so you can see what he got. Right here. There you go. So he he bought this trailer, and actually bought some lots. Um, and he's he's gonna put duplexes down here a little further. But this what he done. He bought. He went out and just bought land, and uh and and he's up here in Gaston, North Carolina. Uh, he actually lives in Mississippi. He's a uh, he's a uh, educator. I'm not gonna say much about him because, like I say, uh, I don't want nobody to get in trouble because all the crazy mess that I do. But uh, he actually bought this trailer and uh, put it uh, put it on his land. And uh, I'll show you what he done on the inside of it. it. Looks really good. It looks really good. So I'm gonna go inside his trailer. Uh, what I've done, I've been out here with him the last two days, just getting it getting it going. But uh, here we go. So here go his trailer. A package deal. He he bought he bought the land. Uh, I think he got a, a right here uh, almost an acre. Uh, I think he paid less than eight thousand dollars for the uh, for the land. Uh, but it, it set up the trailer. He came in. He painted. Uh, yesterday I came in, put those switches in right here for him. He uh, he had some problems with the lights, and the guy or uh, somebody else had tried to do some work on this trailer previously, and had uh, kind of got the wires and stuff crossed with the light switches. So I came here yesterday and actually straightened that out for him. And today I actually set his air conditioning unit. So we're gonna go. This is actually a three bedroom uh, uh, mobile home. It's a little single wide trailer. And you guys washer and dryer set up here. I uh, guess this is going to be the master bed bathroom. So this, this is another way you could do it. Another way you can do it. Instead of uh, buying a house and rehabbing it, you can come out, buy land, buy, uh, buy a trailer. He got those doors locked right there, but I guess those are the closet. Uh, you can buy a trailer, buy some land, then set it up. A lot easy way. You know, turn key. Almost and like I say uh, Everything he needed for the trailer to go was here 
and we put everything in every day working we checked all the electrical this down the master this is another bedroom all right you got to put some light bulbs in but they got another bedroom another bath and then here goes the third bedroom so this is what he's doing uh, it looks really good the air conditioner is working good now uh, I'm very happy for him uh, gave me a new way of thinking about doing something like I said my friend uh, he doesn't even live in the state he's from this area his parents don't live too far about uh, matter of fact his parents live right down the street so uh, he got his family here to actually watch over his stuff as he uh, as he's away but he comes home quite frequently but he actually lives out in Mississippi came home bought land near his parents I'm gonna flip this around uh, he bought land near his pa parents came back uh, and start putting trailers and stuff here he said he's coming back here after he retired he got about maybe three or four more years in the education system out in Mississippi then he's gonna retire but he's already starting to, to build his wealth and, and build his retirement here so and like I say he got this one down and getting ready to rent it and uh, uh, he, he all he has to do now start working on the, on his duplexes that he's, he's gonna put next door looks really good I'm not gonna put you on camera, man. But I guess, like, I, I, huh? I'm not gonna put you on camera. But I guess they can hear you. Now you say you started in January. Started in January, uh, because of the weather, it delayed uh, them actually setting it up because they had to go two weeks without any type of uh, wet precipitation, uh, and for the ground to be solid enough to get it uh, uh, supported down, and that took until about March. And then uh, from there, I had to apply for all the permits and even had to go so far as to bring an engineer out here because one end of the trailer was so high off the ground, they were not going to approve until an engineer, a structure engineer said it was okay. All right. So that's good. Uh, if you, it, it's up to you or not. But uh, if you want to tell, do you, do you mind telling about how much you got invested in, in this whole project so far? Uh, after this last bill right here, I have about $22,000 invested in it. And you are you ready now to put somebody in? Ready to go right now. Uh, there you go. Yeah. That's good. All right. I got left to do to do uh, just mow the lawn and that's it. Okay. Ready to go. There you go. Now, when do you think you're gonna start on your uh, next project? The next project, I already talked to the guy this morning. Mm -hmm. um, that was actually, the that was the grading guy that was here when I got here. Yeah, he did okay. the driveway, uh -huh. and so he's gonna come and level this off. So I don't have to deal with a structure engineer on this. We're gonna go ahead and get it uh, flat so that everything will be on the ground. Okay. Yeah. And you're gonna you're gonna do a crawl space or a cement? Cement. Cement. Slab. Cement slab. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, so that uh, my best friend, he's out here doing it. I'm uh, very proud. I, I really love it. I really love what he's done. Matter of fact, I might duplicate this from back in back in Stovall. Um, I might do this. I, I I've been looking at some land there, and uh, I, I I like that, uh, especially the way that the package came together with the air conditioning and all that. Uh, it didn't take about an hour or two for us to get everything in, and uh, it, it, it's ready to rock and roll. So uh, thank you all again for tuning in. you got any questions, concerns, please hit me up. I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Bye.